How do you be vulnerable without being needy? And the answer to that question is be vulnerable. Let me explain. So I'll give you an example. Imagine a homeless man out on the streets. He has no money, no roof over his head, no family to take care of him, no friends. He's there all alone going from one place to another and he basically has nothing. Imagine he realizes that he's in a very hopeless situation. No love, no shelter, no family support. And then try to imagine him feeling the depth of his despair and imagine him becoming emotional, even crying. And contrast that with a homeless person begging for money on the street. Now, are either of these situations or are either of these responses, um, actions by the homeless man wrong? No, not at all. But they produce different responses and they have a different quality to the people who come into contact with him. So in the first scenario, <clears throat> when he's just feeling and he's not asking for anything, that's his vulnerability. That's what it is. That's his current experience of his plight of his situation. And in the second scenario, he's begging for money. Now, that begging for money, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We see people like that a lot, right? All of us have seen homeless people begging for money. In the first scenario, he's just feeling, he's not taking value. But in the second scenario, he's trying to take value. Again, it's not wrong. It's what it is. But this allows you to see the contrast between vulnerability and neediness. That's one example. And so to make this a little bit more relatable for you, let's consider a woman who's in a relationship. Maybe she's been in a relationship for three to nine months, let's just say. And she's with a man who is quite a busy guy. And he's been away working for a while and maybe one day she's feeling like she's getting very lonely. Maybe she doesn't know where he is. She thinks that he could be at work or but he could be seeing friends. And it's been a while since he's contacted her and she's starting to feel very lonely, maybe angry, frustrated, and scared. Imagine that woman takes the action of picking up her phone. Let's imagine her texting, sending 25 text messages to her boyfriend, 25 abusive text messages. Why haven't you called me? Don't you get it? I'm all alone. Why is she responding to me? You're a terrible boyfriend. Does that take value? Yeah, of course it takes value. But is she feeling? Maybe a little. Let's just say she's not feeling, but she feels something. We all know she's feeling something inside, right? All intelligent humans can tell something's going on. She has emotions in this situation. And this woman's getting to the point where she feels like she needs to access the emotion. She needs to feel. And so her way of dealing with it is to send 25 abusive text messages. That very clearly takes value. That is very clearly neediness. It's a very ugly form of neediness as well. And let's just imagine, instead of sending 25 abusive text messages, she picks up a pen and takes a piece of paper and writes a letter to her boyfriend. She says, hey, dear Stephen, let's say, I miss you so much. I was thinking about that time when we went for this walk in the beautiful sunset along the beach. And I just thought about that time we went to the circus together. Gosh, I live for moments like that. I know how busy you are, but my heart longs for you. I, I miss you so much. Now, in this scenario, let's just say they haven't gotten to the point where she can give him this letter. But in this scenario, is she able to still feel and have a cathartic experience and be vulnerable and yet not take value? Absolutely. I mean, if she decides it's not appropriate to send him the letter, at least it's written. At least she's had the experience of feeling, right? So what am I saying here? I'm saying that the difference between vulnerability and neediness is actual vulnerability. That actual vulnerability, that means feeling, actually feeling. A lot of the times, us women, when we go into the dating world or when we enter some kind of a relationship, we have so many feelings. So many things that come up for us. We feel so much, we attach so deeply and we 
want to be together, we want to connect. And those emotions that come up, whether they be influenced by past bad experiences, by past toxic attachments that we had to people, or whether they're just highly responsive and calibrated feelings of anger and hurt, they are still there and they're very strong at times. And that's okay. And so think about the homeless man again. In one scenario, you're just feeling. It is what it is. Now imagine the woman sending 25 abusive text messages. Is she still feeling? Is that still vulnerability? No, because she's not feeling. And so that is the distinction between vulnerability and neediness. So neediness takes value and vulnerability just is. It is what it is. It's life. It's this moment. It's sorrow. It's joy. It's ecstasy. It's pain. It's all of it. And you feel it without expecting or asking anything from someone, from your boyfriend or from the man you're seeing or your husband. So you might have a question right now. You might be asking, well, whenever I cry, even if I'm just crying, my husband goes, oh, you're crying again, or he thinks he has to solve it or something. I understand. He may have pre-existing ideas about what it means when a woman feels, but that's okay. Let him have that. Don't let that stop you from having your feeling experience because at the end of the day, you have to know that those feelings don't go away. And if you don't feel them, not only will he suffer, because believe me, he will, you will suffer. And so it's better that you feel, just to feel, just to have that experience, that vulnerability, than it is for it to come out in a pathological, destructive and toxic way. So that's my answer to What's the difference between vulnerability and neediness? I hope it helped. Oh, and any questions you might have, you could leave them below as well because perhaps I might be able to address them in a future video. Okay, that's all for now.